Hi there, this is Nikita Net and welcome to this video. So, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 was released recently, last, well, Tuesday to be exact. And on Twitch I've seen many questions about 3D rendering of objects in the quote-unquote flight sim world you fly in. And there, there's, well, I've done software development and um, Although I'm not a UX guy, user interface, user experience, I do know a little bit about it and I'm always fascinated by, well, was at least, um, fascinated by new techniques. Um, well, the realism in Flight Simulator, Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, so MF, FS 2020, or any type of variation, don't know the name yet. Which will we settle on, right? Um, it's very interesting. If you take a look at this, this is like incredibly interesting. And this, this is basically what gives that realism Bing Maps. And not only Bing Maps, like proper maps of the world, topographical, geographical um, routes, and such and such and such. Also the augmented reality that Bing has put into its commercial, quote unquote commercial, maps product. And here you go. Bing maps. Well, no, no, yeah. That's it. This photo, to be exact, from bing.com, blogs.bing.com, um, is a new rendition, I think, of something that came out when Bing maps was introduced. And at that time I was still programming software. And pardon me, they're building stuff in the neighborhood. So that's that sound. But um, this is basically what they did. They had, well, basically satellite photography of the world and then augmented that with, well, 3D. Well, how should I say that? framing of those objects that's that's the way the best way of saying it basically graphical information systems full of photos full of information and then augment them with 3d models so this is the space needle in seattle and as you can see this is just a little slice a square slice out of the real world with a little bit of extra information some weather information fahrenheit most likely partly clouded at the time of rendition of course but that's this and this is basically from the maps sdk which basically means you can integrate 3d modeled information in your application or your product perhaps you need to pay for it perhaps not that's licensing that's a completely different subject but here is why microsoft flight simulator 2020 mf ss well you get the point um once again that naming but why it's so good because they include this information when they consult while you fly in real time, right? Real time flying in a simulator, of course, in the simulation. Well, while you do that, they consult Bing and Bing integrates those 3D models. And this is older technology that requires integration in quote unquote, the cloud, Microsoft's cloud for your specific um, vantage point in that simulated world so this is like from from an uh, there's basically information there's programming and there's then the combin combination of those which is for me the most fascinating thing making data usable to a consumer consumer of that data be the company be the person be it another system it's um, the logistics basically of information and Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is in that example one of the most interesting interesting um, examples of a product that uses data 
extremely well by combining different techniques and create that visual world. So it's like, well, look at the building blocks. This is basically from the MAPS SDK, included 3D information with high resolution models, elevation data and labels augmented. Here, here you can see more of this, and this is from codematters.online. And this is just an explanation. I won't show that entirely, but this is basically based on this older technology that's been, how would I say, I would say about 10 years last time. Well, the first time I, I noticed this with this example being presented and you can download it you can play with it yourself if you're a coder that does this type of work if you're a coder that doesn't do this type of work I would say um, go experiment with it I haven't programmed in almost well, over a decade but um, this is one of those things where I say this product it's slick it's neat it's wonderful and um, it adds personally if I were to make an, a weather app for on a smartphone basically and they're talking about unity so right um, I would want this included because it's personally I'm looking at it right now it's visually so appealing and it's clear it's the space needle it's recognizable and it's taking raw data from satellite imagery and don't forget if I'm correct at least if I remember correctly Microsoft basically owns via subsidiaries a number of them a number of satellites for these photos it's like using your purchasing power for something that basically a rocket engineer doesn't perhaps right envision but taking that into this is, yeah, I find that wonderful, right? So, Microsoft Flight Simulator, the channel on YouTube, and this is the video, talks about this partnership. And uh, let's take a quick look at some of these visuals. I'll just skip ahead just for your idea. But here you go. Right here, they're correcting models they have. And here's the Space Needle again, right? It's augmented reality in some regards, or virtual reality, I should say, but taking real data, real information, and putting it right. These visuals are because of that. You can't beat that. And here they're correcting different maps and different data sets. And this is wonderful. So, watch this video. I'll I'll include these links in the video description, but I wanted to say this is why Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020, in my personal opinion, is an exemplary application for what can be done with data for you. Right? Combining an entire, not an ecosystem, but an entire vision into one product it can also be used for other things. Augmented reality, well, or lens one could say, because this is an outflow. Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 is basically an outflow of the original idea for HoloLens, which Microsoft scrapped, I think, but hey, that's okay. But this is city planners, uh, administrators, um, even for point-to-point -point, uh, data communication, right over the air. So, um, this is like wonderful. So this is Nikita Nett saying, thanks for watching. And I'm very impressed. And uh, looking forward to enjoying Microsoft Flight Simulator 2020 when I've got the time to do it. Because I want to experience this. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.